Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, we back with another Motivational Monday video. I'm going to talk 10, 15 minutes. Try to keep it in 10, 15 minutes. I got my cl uh, clock here to kind of time me. Um, I want to talk on what does success mean to me? What does success mean to you when I say being successful? Actually, what do you, I mean? What does it mean to you? There's something you got to know. I can't tell you what it means to you. But I'll give you some kind of aspect what it means to me and how to see yourself as a value. A lot of people don't see the value in themselves, which hinders them to climbing the hills of success. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to see the value in yourself. The reason I come up with this subject is last week I did a video on um, how to get social media to give you, you know, build you some success, wealth, and things like this. And a lady put on there, she said, not everybody can be successful. Not everybody can be at the top. Some people got to be at the bottom. Not everybody like money and cars to be successful. And I read that, and it got me thinking. She made some good points, but some points got me thinking. She's correct. Um, not everybody can be at the top. Not everybody are leaders. Not everybody are the big CEOs and things like that. Some people are just workers. That's true. But just because you're a worker and not the big leader of the company doesn't mean you can be a valuable asset to a company, to, a, uh, uh, to any kind of organization. Anything in this life doesn't mean you can't be show value through it just not because you're not at top. Y'all know I have a business and I have a, a company, of course, I have old school soap food, but everybody who works with me is very important. They have value in everything they do. That's why I hold them accountable for what they do because it's very important. It's like a piece of a pyramid. When they don't do their job and not uh, sufficient in it, it hurts everybody. It hurts the whole pyramid. And they're very successful what they do, and they're very important. I make sure they know that. With that being said, success means a lot to different people. I'm going to tell you what it means to me. I have a, you know, house paid off, few vehicles, money in the bank where I can pay my bills on a daily basis and weekly, monthly basis. Y'all know the story on that, and I'm going to tell you later on in November. The financial part, I already wrote that in the end of October, November, we're going to hit finance. But I need to get everybody right on the right track. I'm going to keep building your, building your confidence up and building your self-esteem up before I get to that. Because if you don't, you don't have that right, the financial part is not going to work. But what success means to me is freedom. What I mean by freedom... I have the freedom to do whatever I want pretty much any time, any day, any month of the week. I can get up and go pretty much where I want, when I want, without anybody dictating me. No, you can't go here, Chef Jeffy. You can't go here this day. You can't go there this day. There's nothing more important to me than that. Okay, money, cars, all that house, that's good. But when you have financial freedom, what I say financial has a lot to do with it. When you have the freedom where you have pretty much 100% control over your life on a daily basis, what time you, you don't have to worry about the alarm clock going off. I don't even need to wear a watch, y'all, most of the days because I don't have to be nowhere at a certain time. I control what I do on a daily basis. If I don't want to get out of bed on a Tuesday morning and just stay in bed all day and watch TV, I have the freedom to do that because I have organized my life the past 34 years, the willing to do that. And I consider that assess. You ask anybody really, really, really that's really successful in this world, the most important thing, I guarantee you, 75, 80% of them are going to say the freedom to do what they want when they want. There's nothing more than that. Not being to have the boss say, I need you to come in on your day off, or where you at? You're late for work. I need you to come in tomorrow, or uh, I need you to do this and that. I have nobody telling me this, no one. I have 100, and that's the most important part of my life is my freedom to do what I want when I want, because I've lived it. Going to work every day, having a set schedule, want a vacation, you have to fill out the plan, oh, I want to go to vacation. You got to put the form out a month before to get it signed off, and 
and, and I can't go here because I uh, uh, financially can't afford to go here and I don't have a way to go. That is frustrating. A lot of people not going to admit it, but to me, it's going to be somebody you too, you too famous trying to make a video, somebody calling me. One day I'm going to get up my ass phone and put y'all on YouTube. But that's what's successful for me. To y'all, it might be different. Somebody out there might be living in a one-bedroom apartment trying hard to get a home. It's nothing like the American dream of owning your own home. I've done it. I've did it. I'm about to buy another home in Dallas. It's nothing like it. When you're at the realtor's office, got that big stack of papers, you got to sign all them papers, and you're closing on your own home, there's no greater feeling. Somebody out there living in one bedroom apartment, maybe with three kids, and a, man, a wife and a husband, three kids, and need bigger place. Somebody might be down at the bus stop right now catching the bus watching me just want a vehicle to get to point A to point B where you have to wait two, three hours, especially here in Houston. The bus sometimes don't come for an hour, hour and a half. And want a vehicle. That might be your achievement of success. I don't judge people by what's successful in their life. Some people just might be on paycheck to paycheck. They want a job or make a money and be able to save enough money where they don't have to be on paycheck. They don't have to be waiting at looking at the calendar. Oh, I get paid that week. Because you already have money in the bank to pay that light bill, that mortgage, or that uh, 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 or that rental that's coming up or whatever. You don't have to wait for that. So everybody... Uh, Avenue and, and, and definition of sex is different. But whatever it is, it all turns back to one thing. To achieve that success, you need to see value in yourself. I push this, I push this, and I push this. A lot of y'all, people, a lot of people don't see the value in themselves. That's why they're scared to step out of their comfort zone and do things to grow in their life, to get bigger and better in their life, in their personal life, financial life, uh, a spiritual life, they scared, they in a comfort zone. I'm telling you, I lived it. I was in a comfort zone for 34 years at my job. And once I started organizing 10 years ago, 2012, y'all know my story, I started Old School Soul Food, I said I'm gonna build something because this is not for me. Same routine, going to work every day, coming home, going to work, listening, oh, I need this and this, answering the people, whatever. So I had to get out of my comfort zone. People say, how you leave? I made good money. One day I'm going to do my financial. You're going to see how much money I made in my job for 34 years. I made good money at my job after I was retired after 34 years. I could have been there another 15 years. Never been written up. Never been late. Could just been there forever. But I got out of my comfort zone and I wanted to do something better. I wasn't happy doing that. And a lot of people say, you're crazy. Leaving your job after 34 years and stepping out on faith and do something else. How do you do that? Because I know I wasn't happy with what I was. God didn't want me here. God had something better for me. And I felt in my spirit, God kept tapping on me. Jeff, I have something better and purpose for you in your spirit. I need you to leave there. After 34, I was thinking to my soul, God is just, just talking to me in here. God is really, this is really what you want to do? I, man, for two, three months, I contemplated, really, this is what... And I lose a little sleep over trying to wonder, is this really what you wanted me to do? I need to do this, this, and what if this don't work? And I'm going to look stupid. I had all those, I'm going to be honest, I had all those denials in my head. The devil putting it in your head. But God, the spirit was stronger. I need you to leave your job. 34 years, making all this money. Your cushy job, that everybody loves you. And leave it. And go do something else for the people. I need you to be a minister to the people through food. And they're just talking to me. And I stepped out on faith doing it. And God hasn't made me look back at all. I do not miss my job at all. People ask you, not at all. I miss the people and work, the people that I work with so much. But I don't miss getting up every morning. I don't miss the hustle and bustle of going to work. I don't miss it at all. I'm wondering why I didn't do it two or three years earlier. That's the only thing I miss. But I knew the value, and God showed me the value of myself, that I could be more valuable to others doing old school soul food full time as a ministry than helping a few people. We had, what, 1,500 people there at the job where I was that we served on a daily basis than doing that. But let me tell you, some people don't see their value. Let me show you how value works. It ain't the, it ain't the value what you are. The value is already in you. God don't, let me tell you what, God does not create 
uh, nothing in value. Everything God create, you are God create, cre you are God's creation. Everything God makes and create, God's the only person, perfect person on this existence. He doesn't create nothing invaluable. You are valuable. You have, I tell you all this every week, you have talents and skills and in you, God put in you already. God is waiting for you to make that step because he's going to help you. I, I'm a living witness. He's going to let you make that step. Read the Bible. God said, I will be with you to always to the end of the earth. God, it's written in the biblical. God said, I will never leave or forsake you. I'll be with you. I'm a living witness. That is true, but you have to make the first step. You need to make effort and God get behind you. Let me make an example. See this bottle of water? This bottle of water here. Now, this same bottle of water, I go to the supermarket. Maybe it's ATB or whatever. This bottle of water going to cost 50 cents. Same bottle of water. If I go to the gym, buy a bottle of water like this when I work out, it costs about $2. See if I go to the movies or whatever, bottle of water, maybe $3. I get on the plane, the same bottle of water is going to cost me about six bucks. If I go to Las Vegas, we found this out a couple weeks ago, asked Tyrone. The same bottle of water in the nice Caesars Palace Hotel is going to cost you $12. Same bottle of water. But what is the difference? It's the same bottle of water. What increased the value? You know what increased the value of this water? The place is at. Once it changed to a different place, the value went up. If you don't see, if you want to see more value in yourself, you got to move to a bigger and better place in life. Once you move to a bigger and better place, your value going to go up. You might be at a job in a situation where nobody's valuing you. You need to step out on faith and make your value worth. So all the people sitting around is not getting the total 100% worth out of their value. It frustrates, y'all don't know, it frustrates me so much. Y'all watch me enough, knowing people have gifts in talents and they don't use it and they don't like I say like I told y'all before I'm gonna die empty because I'm gonna use all the gifts that God have in me when I die it's gonna be nothing left I'm gonna die completely empty inside because I know the value when I left my job hey that value went up 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 and it's gonna still go up because I'm creating you know I'm creating this ministry in Dallas foundation and my mother's name is gonna help feed uh, uh, children and low income families and elderly, that's going to create my value because I know what God got in plan for me. So y'all, I just want to touch base with y'all. It makes me, I'm very, very adamant and it, it, it's, it's close to my heart because I know everybody watching me is valuable people and nobody, a lot of people don't see the value. That lady wrote me that she don't see the value in herself. She just sees herself as somebody on the low, low below everybody else, doesn't see the value of anything, nothing like, she say money, cash, it doesn't make you happy. It doesn't make you happy, but it makes your life a lot easier. I tell you that. It makes your life a lot easier. And I reached out to this lady and I explained to that in the, in the comments. I say, no, money and all that doesn't make me success. Freedom make me success, but all them other things sure do make life a lot easier. It does on a daily basis. But people, Family members, I love each and every one of y'all. And like I say, if I, anything I can do, I promise you next week I've been so busy, y'all, trying to get things together, trying to get this organized back together. I'm going to start returning phone calls. I promise you next week I have nothing on my schedule next week. Last week I had a few good things on my schedule, but next week it's totally empty. I'm going to make maybe 100 phone calls next week. If my voicemail is full, I need to check it, empty it off. I'm going to start writing down numbers, call you back. Please call me because I want everybody to be valued. I want y'all to be not like me. I tell you this all the time. Don't be like Chef Pepper. Be better than me. There's people out there got talents 120 times bigger than me. I'm not only the little part of the totem pole, but I'm using what God give me. I'm using a talent. And a lot of people ask me, what talent should I use? I don't know your talents. Unless I'm with you on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, maybe I can see some kind of talent you got. Other than that, I don't know your talent. But this is what I can tell you. Do something you enjoy doing and do something you do best. And if you do that, it's like Milky Way every day. Y'all know my passion. You know, I love cooking ever since I was a kid. I've been cooking since day one. I love it. It's like I really never worked a day in my life. 
and I absolutely love cooking every day. When my mama passed away, it was a week I went by and I didn't cook, and it's like my mom would kick my butt if she was here today, knowing I'm being here, feeling sorry for myself, because she's up in heaven having a good time, walking around glory all day having a good time. I'm here feeling sorry for myself. My mom would kick my butt if she was here. She told me this before, don't feel sorry for me. Y'all keep doing what you're doing, your brother. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy life. And that's what she would want me to do. Believe me, I have bad days and I have a good day. More bad than good. And it's going to kind of balance out later on because I miss my mom so much. But I know I'm doing what she want me to do and my dad want me to do and they're watching down from my high. So anyway, y'all, I just want to share this with y'all to find what makes you successful and know your value in life. You have value, and even on a personal level. I know people in situations, I'm not a, a personal relationship counselor and things like this, but I know when I, people reach out to me on a personal level and they in a relationship, you need to know your relation, you need to know your, pers your value as a human being too. You, and some people in relationships and stuff like that for just for a benefit of having a, a roof over their head or having money coming in, that's not, that's not healthy. In the end, it's not going to be healthy. You have value in yourself. And a lot of people just sitting around, I, I'm telling you, it just, it, it's a pet peeve of mine. Because I know a lot of people waste their life and don't get anything out of it. It's so many people go to the grave full. Like I said, I'm going to grave empty, y'all. I love y'all, y'all. I'm going to keep pushing y'all. I want y'all to be success, successful, successful. Just remember this bottle of water. Like I say, I don't know how much it's worth right now in my hand. Maybe, maybe 25 cents, man. But just, just remember this bottle of water. It, nothing in the, in the water changes. It's just the place is at that makes the value go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I want y'all to, like I say, every week I talk to y'all, I want to get the comments and the voicemails and the direct messages of the people that's doing better and getting better. Nothing makes my heart feel good. You know, you got people out there, when you tell them you're doing good and got this and this, they gonna look, they, like my nephews and these nephews say, they haters. Yeah, they a lot of haters out there that want you to do well because they doing mad and they want you to be down there where they are. Like they say, misery love company. So I don't want you to be there. I want you to be up there because I'm celebrating with you. When somebody, like, when somebody do a recipe of mine, they send a picture of it, what they did, you don't know the chills I get on me and the, and the juvenation I get when somebody made a recipe or something I did and they did something. I'm more excited than you are. You really don't know, sincerely. So anyway, I love y'all. Let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed, oh, oh, before I forget, I interrupted myself, hope to get back on it. Tonight, 5, 7, 5 to 6 p.m., 5 p.m. Central Time, we'll be doing the Monday Night Live like always. And uh, I always have to throw that in. So y'all join me five. It's always it's a, one of the highlights of my week, y'all. My five p.m. lives on Mondays, and it's a highlight for a lot of other people. We have about two hundred people in there. We're having a good time. Last week we got on ribbon cane syrup. That was the subject we got start trending last week on uh, on. And then you know what? I'm going to try to find that big can, a yellow can of ribbon cane syrup. I don't know if they still making any can. You know they they make ribbon cane syrup in the jars, but I, I got some matter of fact right here. See this one. This is right here, ribbon cane syrup. Happen to be sitting right here with me. Uh, I want to see if I can find that can. I'm gonna go on Amazon or whatever. You know that can. You have to get that case knife. A lot of people don't know what a case knife is. A lot of people don't know what a divan is. A lot of people don't know what a Garrett is. It went over a lot of heads. What I just said, y'all. But anyway, um, join me tonight, 5 p.m. Central Time, on uh, YouTube Live. We're gonna have a live for one hour, like every Monday. So anyway. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed week, and reach out to me, 281, I forgot this, 281-345-8991. It's in the description of the video, but some people don't read that, don't can't find it. It's because it's, it's all the way down to the bottom. And my phone number is 281-345-8991. Anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.